Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 30th May, we'll talk about Bethsaba, an important person in David's life. Bethsaba was the daughter of Eliam, the Hittite, and the wife of Uriah. She was a woman of outstanding beauty and was drawn into an adulterous relationship by David. David was at the peak of his achievements as king of Israel at that time. We see this in 2 Samuel 10 and arrogantly seemed to think that nothing should be denied him. The sin brought particular sadness to Bathsheba. Her husband was murdered and the child of the adulterous uh, relationship died. Shame and family strife prophesied by Nathan brought distress to David and Bathsheba and had irreversible consequences for the nation as well as David's family. Repentance is in the first instance an individual matter, but David's repentance as revealed in Psalm 51 appears to have been paralleled by that of Bathsheba. Corporate sin called for corporate uh, repentance and brought corporate forgiveness. God blessed them together in that they were saved from death and later were given a son Solomon who succeeded to David's throne. Solomon was included in the line from which the Messiah came. Although Bethsaba remained identified as her that had been the wife of Uriah, that's what is written in uh, uh, Matthew 1, 6. As David's strength decreased, there was further family intrigues in which Bethsaba was also involved. Solomon was to su succeed David according to what God had told them. In, we see this in 1 Chronicles 22, 9 and 10. But many of David's followers opposed this. According to the above verses uh, in uh, Chronicles, God promised David that he would give peace and quietness to Israel in the days of Solomon. Assisted by Nathan the prophet, Bathsheba fearlessly confronted her husband and the courtiers who surrounded him to thwart the plans of uh, Adonijah to take the throne. We see this incident in 1 Kings 1, 18 to 21. Actually, the whole chapter from 13 to the end. Bethsheba later supported Adonijah's request to marry Abishag. This caused further strife and was seen by Solomon as an attempt to take the throne from him and he had Adonijah put to death. Glimpses of God's grace brightened the record of the life of Bethsheba. As well as being the cause of his greatest failure, she was possibly the most influential of David's wives. Jewish uh, tradition asserts that Bethsheba is the virtuous woman, woman of Proverbs 31, 30, 10 to 31. If this is so, in later life, she became worthy, highly regarded lady whose life reflected true, re true repentance and an earnest desire to be a worthy follower of the God who had forgiven her. Bethsheba is an example of how God's grace can heal the severely wounded not allowing bitterness to fill her. She models the courage and grace needed after the loss of a child. She was blessed with four other children, among them a king. The loss of a child need not make us lose hope for the future. Her experience also tells us that unless those who do us wrong are willing to accept responsibility for their actions, as David did, no reconciliation is possible. Let's pray. <coughs> Lord, thank you for teaching us about Bethsheba and her repentance. Lord, we are all sinners, but when we realize that we are doing, we are in the wrong, please help us to come back to you. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.